Hey guys, Tony the Suicide Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we're doing another thing where it will be easy for everybody to go have a try. Okay, so let me turn on my fan again because I don't want the smoke to go all over the place. It's cold. I always had to wait till like last minute to turn on my fan. So here we go. All right, so today we are doing the My Father's Connecticut CT edition, which is just really Connecticut, but see, yeah, there you go. All right, this is a Toro size. I don't know. Mm. This is a Toro size, and I'm just looking like like somehow it doesn't it doesn't look very straight. It doesn't look very straight, but okay. It's a Toro size. <laughs> this is a Toro size. Um, I'm gonna get the size, uh, the size number because it's pretty big. It's six and a half by fifty-four. That's pretty big, and they do also have a Toro Gordo, which is six six by sixty. All right, and then they have a Corona Gorda. 6x48. So yeah, there's quite a bit of size. They also have a Robusto, by the way. So, cigar priced at $8.20. Super reasonable. But we just had to see what it tastes like, right? The Connecticut wrapper is Ecuadorian. Okay, and the binder is Nicaraguan Corojo 99 binder. And uh, Nicaraguan Habano Criollo filler to create the cigar. So, Let's start with the look. Like I said, I think this is it curved. All right, this side straight. Uh, okay. All right. So it's straight but concave. Okay, it's straight but concave. So this is straight, but this side kind of went in a little bit. All right, that's totally fine. So start with the black band. I don't like this ribbon thing. But somehow it kind of fits this one for some reason. All right, so. Very cedary, sweet. Barnyard. I don't know why there's a barnyard. Smell like poop. But cedar and sweet. Okay. Let's get started. Powder. Please don't worry, Robo. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. Alright, do you, you see this is what I'm saying? Sometimes like you just have that little edge that didn't glue or didn't have enough glue. But that should be okay. Wow. Super barnyardy. It's just barnyard basically. You just call that you might as well just call that barnyard. Wow. Yep. And cedar. And hay. It just really. Yeah. Really like a farm. So, let's light it up. You know, this cap bothers me a little bit. There's another cap under it, so I should be okay. Well, actually, no, the cap's weird. Like, the cap is weird. This cap is gonna fall off. 
In a way, I don't know. Maybe. They roll over a cap. So they screwed up and then they roll over a cap and put another cap on there. So you can see over here. They roll over a cap. So the so this foe, it went over this cap and then they put another cap over it. And that cap really didn't glue. So I don't know what happened. So if that cap roll off, the whole thing's gonna come off. I don't know. We'll see. I got cigar glue. In fact, I bought a new one. I didn't bring it downstairs. I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll get go grab it between cigar. Or maybe I don't even have to. The draw is okay. Very, very. Uh, oh yeah, very. It has a little bit of pepper. Hey. It's a little bit of bitterness. Just a lonely a little bit. Very, very mild. There's not a lot of strength. There's a little bit of cream, but not very strong. Yeah, a little bit sweet now. Mm, a little bit of peanut. That pepper is, is messing me up. Because as soon as I was like, oh, I think I taste something and the pepper comes in, just burns it off. Anyways, let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. I have a good feeling about this cigar. So yeah, we'll see. Okay. One third. Look at the ash. It holds very well. It's a very well balanced cigar for my father in the $8 range. There's a lot of cigar in here. Now, the flavor... The flavor is really nice. I mean, the first third is kind of light. The second, like run, running into the second third, it starts to have that little bit of like a, a chocolatey sweetness to it. So you got a little bit of chocolate, you got a little bit of peanut, and you got creaminess to it. And it, it kind of brings a nice sweet balance to it. It's really nice. Even though, uh, I would say that's like a medium body. It's not very solid of a flavor, but it's there. Um, the strength for this cigar is just a very strong mile. It's a very strong mile, but it's still in the mile side. It never, it, it, it hasn't crossed over. You can feel that, oh, it's so mile, 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 mile. And they're like, oh, that's a little bit stronger, but I wouldn't call that medium, right? So it, it's, a, it's a very strong mile. And... The draw so far is good. Uh, the, the smoke output is good. So, you know, I am kind of impressed with the, with the you know, for $8 cigar. Even though for Connecticut, $8 cigar is a lot. But look at the size of this thing. This thing is uh, a good hour and a half, two hour smoke here. You know? So for beginner, $8 gets you two hours smoke. That's actually not bad for $8, you know? It, it's like a... And it, we, I kind of, you know, in a way, I would say I, majority of the market does trust my father's cigar's quality. And it, I can, you know, I can really smoke the quality. Mine is the part where they put a cap. It could be the person who put the cap too early or whatever and just kind of screwed up. But it does, it does has its quality. And I mean, even though I adjusted a little bit, the, it, the cap is not bothering me right now. 
It's pretty good. The the peanut starts to taste more and more pungent. There is still a little bit of spice in there. There's still a little bit of pepper in there. But it doesn't bother my retro hill at all. At all. So good quality stuff. Let me go into the second third. I'll be right back. All right, second third is over. I'm in the last little bit of the last third. I'm going to take the band off before I forget. So <clears throat> now second third. I think the flavor is pretty good. It's got a mixture of good flavor and they added in a little bit of leather. I got a little bit of leather on top of that and um, it, it, it kind of get a better mixture of taste. It's, it's really bringing it together. I think this is really good. For Connecticut, this tastes like a Connecticut. It's great. I, I think this is like textbook Connecticut almost. So let's still take a look at the band. First, let's take a look at the second band. Right here. I love that that orange color. Green and orange, they mix pretty well because you know it's red tone, red tone and green tone, they tend to mix well together. I think that's really, really this is what kind of remind me, got me to buy it because I looked at it. Oh yeah, that looks good. Uh haven't smoked that for a long, long time. I don't even remember how this tastes like anymore. So this is the the second band. All right. And let's take a look at the last band, which is my father's, you know, Garcia and Garcia in typical fashion, very decked out band. And you know, my father bands are good looking. I, I like the way this looks. Uh, obviously kind of reminds you of any other cigar, like most Nolanee, like, you know, Aplencia or like La Bijou, you know, and a little bit darker than this will just look like a judge. So, you know, it looks a good looking band. I like it. I like it. The, you know, it's not too sharp of a color. They use like a peach color with a green. So it's not like like absolute red. It, it's very pleasing to the eyes. It's not hard to see. So I like that. All right. So um, I'm on the last third now. I'm going to continue to chat with the boys and hang out while I'm smoking the cigar. It's really, like I said, it's enjoyable. It's not strong. You can talk and you can smoke. It's a good combination together. I like it. So, um... I think I'll hold the price until the end. I'll hold the price until the end. I'll be right back. Okay, finally finished. Now, laster. Very balanced. Has a little bit more of like a... What do you call that? A nougat? Um, or a little bit of sourness to it. That really made the flavor even more pungent. So like it's, it's increasingly more pungent in terms of uh, flavor. So I actually like that. It's pretty good. In terms of price, what I would give for this, I would pay $10.50. $10.50 for this cigar. Okay, it's $8 something, but I think it's worth $10. You get $10 worth of cigar in here, $10.50. It's a great cigar. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I had almost three hours of slow smoke through the cigar. Great cigar, great construction, great um, draw, smoke output, flavor. So I would highly recommend those people who are like, you know what, I don't mind a good Connecticut once in a while to get this cigar. This cigar is good. I, I like it. So yeah, 1050. It's got everything. It's got double bend. It's got the size of the cigar. It's a Toro. It's got two hour plus, you know, you know if it's just slow enough, it's almost three hours of smoke. You get a uh, good flavor, increasingly more flavorful as you smoke through it. Uh, it's easy to get, you can get it anywhere. Definitely a good cigar, I would recommend it. So for those people who is looking for a good Connecticut, that's one of them. And you know, my father quality, not my father, but my father quality. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Go smoke one if you haven't tried it yet, all right? So that will be it for this particular review. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, share and comment. If you like the cigar, let me know too. So we can see how many people actually like the cigar and how many people actually hate the cigar. Okay? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.